Hey everybody, welcome to the second video in the 8 part Filmora AMB course. Today, we'll be looking at the scaling transitions which I've used in my edit and of course, I'll be teaching you all there is to it. Now before I begin, let me first give you a short recap. In our last video, we learned the importance of audio syncing and clip selection. We also learned how not every clip works with every type of audio. There is supposed to be a golden ratio of the clips and the audio. Furthermore, in the end, we managed to create a very nice, simple base for our edit using the clips which I got from Dexter, which I got from different types of pictures which I found on YouTube. We also managed to sync it with our audio. Now today, of course, we'll be moving forward. Now, since it will take a, a lot of time for me to actually add the scaling transitions on my own right now, what I'll do is I'll add them and then I will explain it to you. So, me adding the scales and the keyframes will be cut out, okay? But do not worry because I'll, I'll be explaining every single thing which I've done. I'll tell you all the values that I've used, I'll tell you why I use them and I'll tell you how I use them, okay? So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so I'm back and I've added all the keyframes for the scales and the rotation. I forgot to tell you but we'll be adding rotation as well. So, I've added them uh, to all the clips and let me show you the finished product. Now, before I start explaining, let me first clear up some things. The thing is, I have not added any sort of motion tiles over here and over here, so you will, have, you are of course seeing these black background behind the behind the clip. Uh, ignore it for now because the reason I have not added motion tiles is because they will be covered eventually by the effects which will add. So I had no need to add motion tiles. Now moving on, let me start showing you the keyframe values. Now. On this clip, the first keyframe is at the start of the clip with the scale values of 200 and the rotation value of minus 15. Then we go two frames forward and our value decreases to 150, approximately 150 and rotation value to minus 7. Moving on, two frames forward again, the value is 120 and the rotation is minus 3. Same thing again, two frames forward, 110 and minus 1.5 this time we'll go three frames forward and then the value will be 105 the scale and minus 0.8 for the rotation Happy. then four frames forward and 102 and minus 0 0.4 now the reason why the uh, decrease in scaling value is very is less here it is because uh, we needed a, we needed a smooth uh, zoom out so that's the reason why the value difference is very low here and the last keyframe is at the end of the clip with the values are 100 and rotation 0 so from here onwards minus 0 0.4 to 0 uh, the same principle applies to the rotation as well the reason for that low difference in the values is because i needed a slow rotation and a slow zoom out so that's the first clip second clip we have the first keyframe at the start of the clip with scale values of 160 and rotation minus one minus 4.50 the second keyframe is one frame forward with 133 scaling values and minus 4.0 so the rotation value is the same as the first keyframe and there's a reason for that because um in the fourth keyframe we'll be changing it and if we did not actually add minus 4.40 in these two keyframes, then uh, it would just, Filmora would just consider one keyframe, this one and this one, the fourth one. So it would just create a transition over here. So we didn't want that. So we added minus 4.0 on both of these keyframes. Coming back on the third keyframe, the scaling values is 120. The rotation value is once again minus 4.50. The fourth keyframe is 133 scale value and minus 6.75 the rotation value. Two frames forward, scale value is 140 with minus 8.25 rotation value. Two frames forward, 146 scalar value 
at minus 9 the rotation value and this is the last keyframe for our clip this is the third clip the third clip of course starts uh, with the first keyframe on the first clip uh, with scale value of 200 and rotation value of minus 18 the second keyframe is one frame forward with 150 scale value and minus 7.7 so the reason why there is a sudden drop here is because we needed us uh, a fast zoom out and a fast rotation so that's why there's a huge difference in the values here third keyframe is one frame forward with 130 value of scale and minus 3.8 or minus 4 you could say for rotation value so the reason for the drop uh, being smaller here is because we needed us uh, first we needed a fast uh, zoom out and rotation then we needed a slow so that we can follow both of these um, different travel transitions together the fourth keyframe is 117 with minus 1.5 um, of course the same principle with one frame being fast we needed the other three the other two and three frames uh, to go slow so that they would complement each other this is the fifth keyframe with 110 and zero rotation moving on this is the sixth um sorry this is the fifth actually sixth with 120 scale and four rotation so we needed a we needed the rotation to end about here and then we needed the rotation to start again with scale as well moving on this is the seventh keyframe with 125 and five values uh, 125 being the scale and rotation being the five uh, we needed a slow uh, zoom in with a slow rotation that's why we used a low difference values then our last keyframe is uh, 126 for the scale and 6 for the rotation same principle we needed a very very uh, slow zoom in very very slow zoom in with uh, a slow uh, rotation as well now our fourth clip yeah so fourth clip our rotation value is pretty high minus 25 with scale being 200 that's the first keyframe the second keyframe has the value of minus 20 with scale value being 140 third keyframe is minus 10 with 120 uh, fourth is 105 and minus 2 uh, then 100 and 0 so the reason is the same we needed a fast uh, zoom out and rotation around these three to four frames and then we needed a, a slower rotation and zoom so that we can complement the fast ones the above clip has the values of 180 for the scale so right now there is no rotation over here okay so the first so it has only scale values uh, which is 180 the second keyframe has 180 again the third one has 140 so there is a sudden drop in the value so the reason for that is because right about here the zoom out for our uh, this clip actually ends so we need we needed a sudden uh, drop here as well so that we can you know pair them up the fourth keyframe has a value of 120 same principle fast goes along with uh, slow so fast here and slow here the third one has 100 then it's 102 so we needed a, we needed a, a slight a very slight zoom uh, zoom in so that's why we transitioned from 100 to 102 that is 105 and again 100 and that's the last keyframe and that's that clip done okay now moving on this clip there's no rotation here as well our clip starts off with 110 scale then there's 120 then 130 140 um 170 and then 180 so it's a pretty like linear scale values uh, it just progressively uh, increases uh, frame by frame so pretty simple there's a rotation there's nothing uh, anything like major done here and our last two clips so our upper clip has the values of scale 130 then 115 then 105 and 103 and the ending basically has the value 100 you can't see the keyframe but it's there at the end of the clip so it has the value 100 for the below clip there is no keyframe added as you can see it's just the raw clip 
and yeah so that's basically it uh, one thing i forgot to mention is um over here sorry yeah over here there is one keyframe here uh 181 which of course you can't see so uh it doesn't really matter because the transition actually ends over here so if you want you can add a keyframe here as well but uh that's up to you so that's basically my scaling and rotation transitions done uh let me preview it once more so that's that uh, once again um Ignore the lack of motion tiles, they will be covered up in the later tutorials and using the effects which we'll add. Yeah, and that's it. If you want, feel free to copy the, uh, the values for the keyframes and uh, add it onto your clips. But I would say that experiment with the values, uh, make them better and uh, make them more smoother. It's up to you. One last thing before I go is that uh, I haven't used any keyframe graphs over here. Um, as you can see the graphs are the like the standard graphs I haven't done anything I have not eased them I have done nothing they are in the original state as they were this goes for every single clip this one as well this one as well this one as well and so on and so forth there is no keyframe graphs used here the reason for that is uh, the, the edit is pretty short uh, so I did not need to use like lengthy clips if i had used lengthy clips then i would have used uh, keyframe graphs to smooth the to smoothen the zooms and rotation even more but since it was a pretty quick edit you can't really feel the stiffness because uh, the rotation and the scales uh, have been frame by frame so yeah that's it and yeah that, that's it for this uh, this tutorial um in the next tutorial We'll be looking at either shakes and blurs or maybe one flavors. It's going to be one of these two. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.